We lead a civilized life on Medusa. Society is controlled by the Grand Council of Women. Madame Fulvia, those of us who are fighting for women's rights on Earth are really encouraged by what you tell us. But uh, men are physically stronger, and they use their strength to dominate and to exploit. How did you solve this problem? By reason. They could see that life was better run by women, peaceful, productive, and to everyone's advantage. But surely some men protested. To begin with. Not now? There are a few troublemakers. But what do you do about them? This is a ridiculous line of questioning. Perhaps Madame Fulvia would like to answer. This is not the place to air your views on women's lib politics. Surely, it's just the place. No, no, no. Order, please. Tell us, Madame, how do you deal with that sort of man? We help them, educate them, try to make them understand that we're only doing things for their good. Ah. But if they refuse to accept your authority, then finally, with uh, great regret, we use discipline. Discipline? Fascinating. Well, you could see for yourself, Colonel. She's giving us information of great scientific value. Well, that's your concern. Mine's security. And I've got the minutes on my back. Why the urgency? They've still got two hostages on Medusa, Dr. Smith and Dr. Becker. Now, it's becoming a major political issue. The exchange must be made. But Rudy and Liz are my friends. I want them back as well, but I... I must have a little more time. You've got two weeks, starting today. And there are other factors as well possible disturbances here. It would be best for everyone concerned if Fulvia is away from here. Ah, Frida. Get the group together. I'm calling a meeting. The group is falling apart. They are bored for lack of action. Ah, tell them this time there will be some action. But we're refugees with political asylum. You cannot give way to a tabia. It's blackmail. Adam, there is nothing I can do. They have given us two weeks. I really have tried, believe me. I knew it would come to this. We'll have to go. There may be a way, Shep. Supposing Fulvia wanted to stay on Earth. But why should she? Well, I've noticed a change in her. Nothing she says, but um, a gentler way of saying it. <laughs> you could have fooled me. If... If she decides to stay on Earth, she could arrange to have the hostages sent back without us going back in return. There isn't a chance. The women are vain, Jen. What Fulvia can't forgive is that I ran away from her. She might be different if... Uh... Oh, what are you doing? I wanted to see if they were looking after you properly. I know they try these people, but they don't know how you like things. The little touches. Do you mind? Shall I go? No. It's all right. I prepared a meal for you with wine. And I found your, your favorite atmospheric perfume. You haven't forgotten? Oh, no. I don't think I've forgotten anything. Except that you ran away. I'm sorry, but the one thing All right. I... Forget I said it. You've made it look very nice. Thank you. You must be tired after your long day. It 
It's nice. Why don't you pour yourself a glass of wine? Thank you. It reminds me of Medusan wine. It has that same glow. Everything's like Medusa this evening. We lost news value, I'll admit that. But now we have something that can put us right back on the front page. Think of the publicity if we could get Vulvia to join us. Or perhaps to lead us. We'll meet up with the same old opposition in the end. Mm -hmm. But this time, we can deal with it. This time, we go on to victory. Pulvia has weapons. With those weapons in our hands, nobody can stop us. Medusan women know how to handle men. Seems a pity I can't keep an eye on things for you all the time. If we went back to Medusa, you could. It wouldn't be the same. I would be the servant. Here, I'd look after you because I'd want to. You would? I've been looking at things on Earth. I know. Very primitive and crude. No. No, no, no. They seem to be very happy, those young couples. They have what they call uh, homes. A little bit like this, I suppose. Homes? Yes. They settle down. Fall in love, talk about the wife, go for a drive in the car, share things with each other. Of course, sometimes they fight. Then she cries. She cries? Mm-hmm. And he says he's sorry. Then they kiss, and she says she will never be jealous again. She? Jealous? She's in the hotel, all right. But there's a security guard on every floor. What do we do? Ooh. But wait. She has to come out sometime. She must hate it in there. Okay. These show the way people live. What do they do? Well, they take out insurance. They go to Costa Brava. They have higher purchase. Steak and chips. Watch television. And do it yourself. Well, if we read these, we'll find out what makes them happy. We'll computerize it. Yes. We'll do as they do. Yes. Live as they do. Yes. It's worth a try. Yes. <laughs> People live in a detached three-bedroom house uh, with its own garage and garden. Like this? Yeah. Come on, I'll show you around. In you go. Yeah, here we are. This is the lounge with the door through there into the garden, you see? And that's the dining room. It's very nice. Yeah, and this is the kitchen. Oh, yes, for Adam. Oh, no. On Earth, the kitchen is for you. What? If we are doing it properly. <laughs> it's one of those desirable estates. A trap for women soulless and dead. What can she be doing in there? Champion of women. Our ah, leader. Well now, this is my sitting room. Hmm? Ah, what do we sit on? Oh, it's, um, it's all here, you know. The most popular furniture of the day. You see? Scientifically computerized, the absolute average of everything. Well, we had no chance to speak to her. The establishment are keeping close tabs on her, putting her in one of those middle-class housing estates, along with that man from Medusa, just like any bourgeois couple. <laughs> they won't have any idea what to do. Hello? 
Are you? You think she'll settle? Be so content she won't go home? We're gambling on it. I don't like the odds. She's used to authority. What makes you think she'll take to this? Oh, men and women are the same everywhere. Except Medusa. They'll stick out there like a sore thumb. They won't know what to do with themselves. I'm going to take you somewhere special tonight. Where? It's called uh, the pub. It's a famous ritual. People buy drinks for each other and then tell stories. But it's very important. It's a major test and we'll know if we're accepted or not. Have you heard the one about the actress and the bishop? Oh, no, 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 no. I tell the men, you are over there. Have you heard the one about the farmer's wife and the milkman? Let's hope she's on her own. Madame Fulvia? Come on. Anybody at home? Madame Fulvia? Let's see what's in it, huh? Oh, what luck! It's fate! They've just... fallen... into our hands. I know we never wanted violence. But think of our cause, the rights of women. There's no other way. We have tried reason and morality. It doesn't work. Men promise all, but give nothing. This is an argument they'll understand. But all we have to do is to learn how to use it. And I think I know who can teach us that. But it doesn't say who the breadwinner is. Could be you. Hmm. Then I could go to the office. And I could get on with the house. Good. <laughs> oh. Have a nice day. Don't be late. Charming way of living. You have your man with you as an equal. No orders, just sharing. Well, you could stay as long as you liked, you know, if only we could get Dr. Schmidt and Becker back to us. My aunt is the president of Medusa. I could ask her to arrange it. Mm -hmm. Splendid lady. And you'll be coming here every day? Yes, while Adam runs the home. I baked it myself. Baked it myself? Yourself? It's incredible. A recipe that my father gave to me. Your father? Yes, yes. And his father gave it to him. Oh, that's yes. Lovely. You must drop by and show me some afternoon. I would be delighted. All the neighbors are talking. You've had those women in here, drinking tea and gossiping. But I've got to have my own life. I'm slaving here all day over that stove. And I'm at work morning, noon, and night. And that's another thing. What keeps you so late? And I've seen that Mrs. Wilberforce and Mrs. Harper. She has been divorced. Did you know that? Divorced? <laughs> that's something. Divorced? <laughs> we haven't even been married. Medusan women do not marry. Ah, that's it. I'm not good enough to marry you, but I'm good enough to clean the house and 
cook for you and be at your beck and call. Where are you going? Packing. Get in. I have no special knowledge. Wait. You're a mechanic from Medusa. Frida? Where did you get those? You know how it works. Yes. Oh, great. It's going to work out, Colonel. Pulver is having the two doctors return to Earth. No exchange. No, no, she wants to stay. She's happy here. So you think you can just walk out on me? I've done it before. You'll be crawling back. I won't. Oh, uh, by the way, I'm going to marry Mrs. Harper. Mrs. Harper. Now, you just hold it like this, hmm? Um. Ah, hmm? Take aim and fire. That's all? Well, that's not quite all. You also have to know how to stop firing it. Um... Oh, we'll worry about that when we come to it. Now, all we need is Fulvia. You must understand these are female weapons. They can be temperamental. Oh, yes. What did you say about Fulvia? Oh, Fulvia will lead us to liberation. We shall make Earth into another Medusa. Another Medusa? Miss Fulvia, Colonel Kibble's character. May I come in? Yes. I understand you're getting your people to send back their hostages without waiting for your two deserters to be returned. Leave Adam here. Never. You find him so that I can take him back to Medusa. That is the only way you'll ever see your people again. <laughs> Shem. Adam, we must get away from here. Why? We'll explain our cause to Fulvia. So that she could bring us support from Medusa. I see. That's her! Uh, around the corner. After that car. But Adam... After that car! Take that. My dear lady, if you want a porter. And I want the special equipment also. They've gone. Frida, what did the man say? Just hold it like this? Like this. Somebody shooting us. Freddy, what's the matter with you? What happened? We can transfix all of them. Uh, what's happening, Sergeant? Give me. Go back. That man. Go back. Oh. We'll need a hostage. Don't let him get away. They're after you. It's outrageous. Well, you're not a domestic. Of course I'm not. Stay here. Right, you. Remember you saw what this weapon could do. What a pig. <laughs> Get out there. Quickly. Move. 
Where do you wish me to move to, madam? To the back door. This is a disgraceful state of affairs. Be quiet. Get in the car. Where do you wish me to sit? In the back. Thank you, madam. Freda! Yes? Where is Fulker? What have you done? Keep out of this. Get back. Get back. Oh, you <laughs> That's one of our guests. You'll be in trouble over that. What are you doing? They, 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 they've got Adams. How dare you attack my lover? Your what? Give me the gun. But Fulvia, we want you as a leader. Then if you do, you must first learn discipline. Now turn the gun off and give it to me. I said turn it off. I, I can't. I told you, these are female weapons. They're temperamental. To turn them off, you must do that. Oh, what a delightful weapon. A magnificent piece of equipment. I owe you a great deal, man. Without your brave action, those anarchists... They seek only equality. To be that as it may, your case has been reconsidered. You have been granted an extended stay on Earth. Evans tells me you're doing important work. I don't trust them. They're striking a bargain. They'll send us back as a reward for what she did. Come on, before it's too late! Wait a minute, now which one of you is first? We're together. Oh, you're together. Oh, okay. 